Kickoff 82 for the University of Tennessee, as it will be the Tennessee Volunteers against the Duke Blue Devils. The game being played at Dalen Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee. And here it is, that magical moment in Big Orange Country, as the Volunteers, before a crowd of 95,223 fans, are set to race on to Shields Watkins Field, and the roar you're here means it's football time in Tennessee. Coach Johnny Majors leading the Volunteers onto the field, and listen to the roar of the fans. Beautiful evening in Knoxville for this football game, as it will be Tennessee against Duke. And there, the mascot, Smokey. And you get up for the 1982 season. The captains meeting in the center of the field for the two squads. Willie Gall, 26. Rumsey and 40 is Bates. Duke has won the toss and elects to receive. Tennessee will defend the north goal. A slight breeze, about six to seven miles an hour. Reves kicking off. Downfield, it goes all the way through the end zone. And Duke puts the ball in play first down Tendig with the 20. Quarterback is Ron Sally. He's a junior. In the I formation. Sally throwing on first down. Has time. Pass downfield is complete. Pulled down by Tillery. 22-yard pickup. Let's see a second look. There's the throw. Tillery hit immediately by Bates, but it's got to be first down and 10 to go. At the 42-yard line, Duke, highly touted offensive power. Sally on a draw. Actually a trap. Quick opening play left side. As Boone carries through the left side, picks up 11 yards. Another first down at the Volunteer 47. Duke, two first downs and two plays. Sally, long pass. It is batted down incomplete. Lee Jenkins defending against Caster. Knocks it down. A second look. Very, very well played, although Caster did get his hands on the football. It was deflected by Jenkins. Second down, 10. Tennessee defending this time as Boone on the draw is met by Kluge. And it will be third down and 13 after a three-yard loss. Duke, third down play, looking for Franks. The pass is incomplete. The tight end running that underneath route was open, but he dropped the pass. It would have been far short of a first down anyway. So in the punt will be John Tolish. And deep for Tennessee, Willie Galt. High, spiraling punt. Galt signals for the fair catch, then runs away from the football, and it bounds into the end zone for the touchback. Nothing and nothing to score. Tennessee breaks the huddle. Quarterback number six, Alan Cockrell, a sophomore from Joplin, Missouri. Running backs will be fullback Tolles, tailback is Morris. Duke in a five-man front against the Volunteers. Long count by Cockrell, checking it over. He's got to throw the football complete. Golf, 20, 23, 24-yard line. It will be second down and six. Ball on the left hash mark as Tennessee lines up in the I formation against the 5-2. Cockrell pitch, left side, carrying the ball through there. Moving it past the 25 is Randall Morris. And he carries it on for the first down past the 30-yard line. First and 10 at the 33-yard line for Tennessee. Cockrell, complete. Lenny Taylor, knocked down by Johnstone, but Tennessee opening up its offense has it second down and three yards to go. Man in motion again, that was Miller. Pitch will come to Morris, running with the motion. Nice cut, here's Randall Morris moving it forward to the 45-yard line, and it will be at that point first down and 10 to go for Tennessee. Nothing to nothing the score. Cockrell, straight drop. Pass complete behind the line of scrimmage. Actually a loss of a yard on the play as Randall Morris running out of the backfield flared to make the catch was dropped by Hill for minus one. Morris three four maybe five yards. And it will be third down and seven. At the 48 yard line of Tennessee nothing to nothing the score Cockrell taking the straight drop. Here's the pass it is complete. That's big Kenny Jones, the tight end, who hauls it in and rolls downfield for the first down. From the sideline, a second look. Number 99, 250-pound Kenny Jones. 13 yards on the pickup, and Tennessee keeps its drive alive. It's first down and 10. 
Ball rests at the Duke 39. Back to throw again, Cockle. Pass downfield is batted down, and a penalty marker is dropped. We'll wait and see. Could be interference, and is, against Duke. That's an automatic first down for Tennessee. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Tennessee's Morris is hit behind the line of scrimmage. Excellent pursuit by Duke. That was Smith primarily there. Morris relieved as Coleman comes on a tailback. Duke in a 5-2. Cockrell. Play action. Pitch. Back it comes to Coleman. Great move. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Coleman to the one-yard line where he's tackled. There's the pitch to Coleman. Works the block beautifully on the corner. Tight ropes the west sideline. Cuts back across the grain almost to the end zone, but he's rolled down at the one-yard line. First down goal, Tennessee. Fumble recovered by Duke, I think. A second look, Coleman the tailback. Cockrell the quarterback. And it's just bounced. Never an exchange at all, and Duke has stopped Tennessee with the recovered fumble at the one-yard line. Unstacking the players, still no signal, but now the Duke players indicate and the referee concurs. Duke recovers Tennessee's fumble, an apparent score goes a glimmering. And it remains nothing to nothing, and Duke has stopped Tennessee's first offensive surge. The Blue Devils deep in their own territory. Pitch to Grayson. Grayson sweeps around the right side of the line, battles for two. And there, Mike McMichaels and McKenzie, the linebackers, team up. Sally throwing the pass downfield is incomplete. Tillery had it for an instant, was then racked as he was searched by Doug Parrish. Third down, nine yards to go. Duke deep in its own territory. Nothing, nothing score. Sally in the end zone. Pass out here, dropped. Fourth down, pressure now on Tolish. Deep for Tennessee. The fleet Willie Galt. Here's the snap. Fine punt, Tolish. Galt looks for some room. Nothing there. He's got to be swarmed and dropped. Excellent punt coverage by the Blue Devils of Duke. And Tennessee goes on offense first down and 10 to go. A marker was dropped, and Duke was guilty of spearing on the play. So a 15-yard penalty boosts it to the 16. Tennessee then is detected illegal use of hands, and so suddenly it's first and 20. Cockrell to Tolls, and he is banged after a pickup of three yards from the 26 to the 23. It will be second down, 17. Excellent defensive play by Alderman. Tennessee pitch. Morris, great cut. Had a long way to go. Made a fine run on the play of 10 yards, but keep in mind, Tennessee had it first and 20. Here's the pitch from the sideline. There's the cut by Morris. And Morris swings downfield for 10 yards, but at least at third down and seven. Tennessee against a 5-2. Nothing, nothing score. Again, it's Morris cutting back, and this time the hole is plugged by Tilly for a loss of a yard fourth down eight into the game for Tennessee will come Fuad Raves to attempt the field goal of 30 yards holding John Warren snap down kick it is good and so Tennessee jumps off on top of the Blue Devils by a score of three nothing kicking off Tennessee backing up Boone eight yards deep in the end zone touchback Duke takes over Duke Great sweep outside, 30, 35, all the way out close to the 40-yard line. Goes Boone, 19-yard pickup, first down 10 at the 39. Duke trailing but moving. Nice cut inside by Grantham, freshman tailback. Upended by Reggie White, who's come into the line defensively for Tennessee, did not start. Two-yard pickup. Duke shifting, taking plenty of time, too much, in fact. There's the whistle. Delay of game. And Duke will sustain a five-yard setback, and it will become second down and 13 yards to go. Tennessee three, Duke nothing. The ball's in a four-man front with five defensive backs in there on an apparent passing situation. Duke counters with a straight-ahead trap, and Grayson is met and stopped by Kluge after a gain of three or four yards. It's third down upcoming for Duke, trailing by three. Sally with a straight drop. Here's the pressure. He is dropped. 92, Reggie White from the other side, Castile, a second look. 
Sally. The two tackles converge, and Sally is sacked. Fourth down, 17. Again, the murmur in the crowd as Galt goes deep to receive the punt by Tolish. Backing up, beautiful punt at the 18. Looks for the wall, 20. Tries to get outside, then cuts back and is downed after a return of two yards. Tennessee, first down, 10 to go. Leading three to nothing, Alan Cockrell at quarterback. Back to throw, complete. This is Miller looking for a hole. Gets outside, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. He is knocked out of bounds as he carries the ball all the way down to the Duke 31-yard line. A second look, Cockrell. Miller, again, working the blocking beautifully. Watch him set it up. There's Charles Gillespie. And this is Miller along the east sideline. Great speed. The angle by Duke's safety knocks him out of bounds. And Tennessee, again, moving deep in Duke territory. The ball offense in high gear. Back to throw. This is Cockrell. The pass again to the tight end. And carrying the ball inside the 20-yard line is Kenny Jones. From the sideline. Big Jones. He barrels forward for the first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Tennessee 3, Duke nothing. Pitch goes to Randall Morris, and Morris is pounded to the ground after a gain of two. It will be second down and eight at the 17-yard line. Duke stays in a five-man front. Cockrell back to throw. Sets up, looks. There goes Miller. The pass. Complete touchdown, Tennessee. From the end zone, play action. Mike Miller, touchdown. Beautifully thrown pass by Cockrell in stride to Mike Miller. And Tennessee leads 9 to nothing as the extra point splits the uprights. And the volunteer lead is 10 0. Ravage will be kicking off. And it's taken in the end zone as the first period comes to a close. Tennessee leads 10-0. We pick up the action now in the second quarter. Duke has the ball first down and 10 to go at its 45-yard line. Trailing 10-0. And a new quarterback is in there, Ben Bennett. Bennett's pass complete. Great catch. That's Franks, the tight end, who pulls it down for a gain of 10 and a first down at the Volunteer 45. Duke to Grayson. Runs through a tackle, runs through another, and is finally wrestled down by Bill Bates. After a pickup of nine yards, it's second and a yard to go for Duke. Bennett dropping, looking, throwing. It is incomplete. Third down, a yard to go at the Tennessee 35-yard line. Bennett again back to throw. The pass downfield this time is complete. Again, it's taken for the first down. And Duke will have the ball at the 26-yard line. Pitch will go to Atkinson. He's the tailback, trying to get to the corner. Turns the corner and picks up yardage. Finally steps out of bounds. Very, very close to another first down. Duke with the ball, trailing 10-0. Handoff goes again to the tailback. Grayson has returned. He pounds through the right side for a pickup of two. It's third down one at the Volunteer 17-yard line. Duke to the line. Big third down play. Tennessee jumps into a six-man front, as you see. Duke. Handoff. Grayson. And. I don't know. We'll just wait and see whether he was able with that second effort to pick up the yardage he needed for the first down. It is not. So Duke is going to run for the first down on fourth and the slip and fall forward. And I think that Blunk was able to pick up the first and he did. It's first down 10 Duke. Duke to Grayson and Grayson is Pollard. Plugging through there for Tennessee, Reggie White. There you see the tackle by White. And so it's second down, 12 yards to go for Duke. Halfback pass, but Grayson, unable to find anybody free, steps out of bounds. You'll see Tennessee reacting defensively, pursuing well along the line of scrimmage, and Grayson is forced out of bounds before he can get rid of the football for a loss of three more. Here's Bennett throwing across the middle. It is batted down incomplete. Carlton Peoples, 19, was there, just in the nick of time. Bennett arches the pass. The man is there, but searching to reject the completion. Carlton Peoples. In to attempt the field goal now on fourth down will be Harper. Well, he sails one up, and it's good. Not an end over end. 
but it sails through the uprights and so it will be Duke scoring its first three points it's 10 to 3 Tennessee kickoff golf 10 carries the ball out where the volunteers will have it first down and 10 to go a night game in Knoxville the sunset shows the skyline of the city past the east side of the football field Tennessee handoff spinning Morris gets four yards forward second down six for Tennessee the balls with the football Here's Cockrell, and somebody jumped, I think, carrying it up the middle comes Morris again. He's swarmed by five Duke Blue Devils. <laughs> Backfield in motion is the call against Tennessee. Five-yard penalty. Tennessee again circles the end, and Duke overpowers the interference. Morris gets two, but he needed much more, and so it'll be third down and eight yards to go. Cockrell. On a delay, handoff goes to Morris, and Morris is again powered down this time by Tilly. Fourth down into the game comes Jimmy Colquitt. He'll be punting for the balls, and he gets it away after a rush. Backing up, pulling the ball down will be Militello, and he is immediately tackled by McMichael, Duke. Back to throw. Nearing the end of the first half. Pass is complete to Bennett. From Bennett, I should say. Two Franks. Pick up on the play of four yards. Second down and six. Atkinson runs out of room as he's forced out of bounds after really a loss of a yard. So Duke trying to get in scoring position, trailing 10 to 3. Bennett, play action. Here's the pass. It is complete. It's Grayson. Grayson runs off two tackles, runs off a third. And he's got a first down. Excellent effort by Grayson. From the sideline, a second look. Grayson pulls it down, a tough runner. There he's hit by two balls, keeps his feet. McKenzie gets him, and finally it takes another volunteer to ride the tough tail back down. Tennessee on defense. Here's Bennett, long pass. The man is there. That's Franks pulling it down for the completion. Duke going with the short passing. There it is again. And once again, it's Franks. And Duke has another first down. Moving to the Tennessee 43. Bennett, again off play action. The pass into the flat is complete. Once again, it's Franks who has made three successive receptions. And Duke, trying to get at least into field goal range, has its second down. Bennett with time. The pass is trapped, I think. We'll wait and see. It's ruled incomplete. Tillery died, but he trapped the ball, and it will be third down upcoming. Third down play. Bennett sets up plenty of time. Pass, perfect. It's complete. All the way down to the Tennessee three-yard line. Bennett on target. A second look. Beautiful route. Splitting Tennessee defensively. And carrying the ball, this will be Tillery to the three-yard line. And Duke trailing 10 to 3 moves toward the south end of the football field, nearing the end of the first half. Duke with Bennett to throw the pass into the flat is batted down incomplete, reaching to save Carlton Peoples. It was intended for Caster. Once more back to throw. This pass is deflected at the line of scrimmage. I think that Kofer got his hands up to deflect the ball. Duke, again, the halfback pass, but stopping the clock as he runs out of bounds will be Grayson. A second look. They've tried the halfback pass twice, and both times Grayson couldn't find anybody open. But he steps out of bounds, so Duke is going to try another field goal. In will be Harper. The kick is up, and the kick by Harper is good. So Duke closes the gap down to 10-6 to six at the end of the first half. Third quarter with Duke to kick off. A squiver trying to make it difficult for Willie Galt to get a full head of steam up. And then Duke sees Galt get a little running room. And he returns out to the 34-yard line. A second look at Galt taking it on the skip. The wedge is formed. Galt makes the cut. The speed picks up 10 extra yards. But then the second wave of Blue Devils stop him. Tennessee lining up. Quarterback is Cockrell. 
against a five-man front. Pitch will go to Tolles, the lone running back. Gets a block from Gault on the corner, moves forward for six yards to the 40. Tennessee lines up without a huddle. Single running back, flankers left and right. Pitch again to Tolles, blocking. Gets running room, gets a first down, pounding his way forward. A second look at the pitch. Watch the interference. Singer, Galt, both blocking up front, and Alvin Tolles moves forward for 10 yards and a first down. Ball at midfield. Again, it's Tolles, slipping this time as he makes the cut. Falls forward for two. Tennessee still without a huddle after the first one beginning the second half. Back to throw, Cockrell. Pass complete. Out into the flat, Galt. Galt dances forward. And it will be down to the 42-yard line of the Duke Blue Devils. Third down upcoming, a couple of yards to go. This is Furness now at fullback. He's got a first. He moves on past the 35-yard line for a pickup of close to eight yards before he's forced out of bounds. A second look at Doug Furness. There's the cut, runs through that tackle, powered out of bounds, but Tennessee has it first down and 10 to go. First down 10 for the Vols at the 33. Cockrell pass complete. Pulling it down this time, it's Galt for a pickup of five. It's second down and five at the 28. Tennessee still has not huddled. Galt, wide to the left, the pass to Galt. Galt lowers his head, powers forward, looks to have another first down. It is first and ten. And Duke takes a timeout to adjust its defense against Tennessee's huddles, huddleless offensive strategy. The balls for the ball, first down. Duke jumps into a six-man line against Tennessee. Quick opening play up the middle. This is Tolles to the 15, to the 10. He's rolled down as he moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Alvin Tolles, sophomore. And Tennessee will have it first down and goal. Furness comes back in at fullback for Tennessee. The pitch will go to Furness. Gets a block in the corner to the five, to the four. He's shoved out of bounds as he moves to the three-yard line. It will be for Tennessee, make it the two-yard line, second down and goal for the Volunteers. Earlier, Tennessee fumbled the ball on a first down goal at the one. Pass into the end zone, incomplete. So it will be third down goal for Tennessee. Now they come with a winged eye. This will be Cockrell. He did not score. Got it down to the one-yard line. It's fourth and a yard to go, and Tennessee's got to go for the touchdown. Less than a yard, actually. You can see how far away Tennessee is. Duke in the goal line defense. Sub reading up front. Tennessee. This is Coleman. He dives. No. I don't think he made it. And he didn't. A second look from the sideline. Duke has held again. Coleman dies and is shoved back by Tilly. Meeting the point of the attack. And Tennessee, for the second time in the game, had it first and goal. And the balls come away with nothing. Duke trailing 10 to 6 out of their own end zone. Tennessee unable to stop the driving Boone. He slowed, but he isn't stopped. Good interference up front by the blocking line of Duke. Powerful offensive line beginning to show its mettle. Now Tennessee cracks through as Wampler eludes the blocking, and Kluge helps out to drop Grayson. And it will be third and five. Back to throw. This will be Bennett. The pass is complete, and I think that Franks was able barely to get the first down out to the 12-yard line. It is first down 10, so Duke gets out of deep trouble. Fumble! But Duke has recovered. On the first and 10, Bennett recovers the bobble. And so it's got to be second down. And then here for Tennessee meeting... The runner was McMichael. Tennessee guessing right on the stunt. Third down. Tennessee. Here's the blitz. Back to throw Bennett. Bennett looks. Long pass downfield is complete. And the man comes open. That's Caster. 35-30. He may go all the way. 15-10-5. Touchdown, Duke. Duke catches Tennessee in a blitz, forcing man-on-man -man coverage. Bennett with a perfect pass. Beautiful post route run. There you see Caster pulling it down, showing the speed as he's got the angle, and he races untouched into the end zone. And Duke, which moments ago was backed up with Tennessee having the ball first and goal, comes right back to go 88 yards through the air on that pass, and the Blue Devils lead Tennessee. In to attempt the extra point will be Harper from the end zone. Slow motion, you see it's blocked. 
It is blocked and falls into the end zone far short. McKenzie is the man who blocks it, but Duke leads Tennessee 12 to 10. Kicking off will be Duke. Backing up Galt at the goal line. 5, 10, 15. Oh, he's stuffed. Fine defensive play by Teander. And it will be first down 10 for Tennessee. Now trailing for the first time of the game, 12 to 10. Pitch to Morris. Tries the corner. Maneuvers through for a pickup of five yards. And it will be second down and five for the Volunteers. Duke 12, Tennessee 10. Cockrell pumping, passing. It is complete. Galt. A second look from the end zone. Galt comes open. The pass is caught, and he is immediately nailed, but Tennessee's got it first down. The ball's trail 12 to 10, trying to get something going. Cockrell, pitch, Morris, outside for five. Moves forward for 10 yards in what may very well be a first down, and it's close. So Tennessee will have the ball with Cockrell again. Looking to throw. Pass downfield. Golf trying to get free. The pass is complete, I think. Let's see if he's in bound. Yes. One foot in bounds. A second look as Cockrell throws deep to Willie Golf. Pass just slightly underthrown. Galt has to slow down. He pulls it down, and you see the left foot is in bounds, and only one foot has to be in in college football. So Galt gives Tennessee. Possession deep in Duke territory. The ball's trail 12 to 10. High formation. Cockrell pitches. This is Morris to the 10. Morris is slung down as he moves to the seven yard line. Tennessee trailing 12 to 10. Man in motion will be Miller running right to left. Cockrell the quarterback. Duke at a six man front. Pitch goes to Morris. Morris turns. Five, four, three, two, spinning. Touchdown, Tennessee. Great cut by Morris. A second look shows you. Moving and spinning and twisting and turning and falling for the touchdown that gives Tennessee once more the lead. In to attempt the extra point will be Reves. Warren will be holding toward the south end of the football field. The kick is good. So Tennessee leads Duke now by 5 points, 17 to 12. And the Volunteers will be kicking off. This will be Reves again driving it into the end zone where it is down by Boone. Bennett at quarterback, his team behind by five. Bennett with a straight drop. Has time, now he's rushed, he is hit, he fumbles the football, and it's recovered, I think, by Tennessee. Mike Kofer made the hit. Here's the second look. You'll see Kofer coming from the right side. Bang, ball bounces. 77 is Wampler. Diving to save possession or gain possession for Tennessee first down. Tennessee with the ball. Cockrell pitches Morris to the outside. Oh, he is banged down as he moves to the 14-yard line. Tennessee with the ball. Second down. Six yards to go after the four-yard pickup. The pitch to Morris. Morris with a cut to the five. Now he is knocked down as he gets to the four. Twisted down, and he's slow to get up. Here's Morris. There you see the cut again. He's hit. And Morris is injured on the play, so coming on to replace him will be Coleman keeping the ball, and the option is Cockrell spinning through the left side, moving it down close to the goal line, where it will be for Tennessee, second down and goal. The balls lead 17 to 12. Full house backfield, power eyes set to the right side. Coleman, the standing tailback. This is Coleman. Through the right side, and he gets close, but then is shoved back. Duke has stopped Tennessee twice at the one-yard line. Third down, Coleman, hurdles, touchdown, Tennessee. The second look shows the catapulting Coleman into the end zone, and holding will be Warren for the extra point attempt by Reves. It's up, and it is good. So Tennessee enjoys its widest margin, 24 to 12, and kicking off will be Reves. Deep will be Boone, five yards deep in the end zone. He's going to bring it out to the goal line, to the five, to the 10. Gets a block to the 15. Reves is blocked out, 20, 25. Boone is open. Boone may go all the way. Here is Boone running into Tennessee territory. Cuts back at the 20, 15, 10, 5. It is Boone all the way. 104 yards on a kickoff return. He delayed slightly as you get the second look. 
Once he gets to the sideline, Tennessee is blocked out of position, perhaps slightly overrunning the play after the delay. And Boone, a tough, tough runner, shows speed as well. Jenkins, the safety, deterred, dies, but Boone eludes him and goes into the end zone, and Duke suddenly turns it back around. It was 24 to 12. It's now 24 to 18, Tennessee leading. To attempt the extra point, this is Harper, and again it's blocked. And again, I think it was 51 McKenzie who got his hands up to block the extra point attempt. It is no good. And the score is 24 to 18. Tennessee leads Duke. The Blue Devils down but never out, coming from deep in their own territory time after time, stopping Tennessee. The Volunteers with golf. And he's going to be knocked down as he moves the ball back to the 23-yard line. Tennessee 24, Duke 18, nearing the end of the third period. Pitch will be to Coleman as Morris was injured on the earlier play and uh, has the knee heavily taped and iced at this point. Will not return to action, apparently. Back to throw Cockrell as the fourth period begins. The pass is complete. Big Kenny Jones has wrestled down after picking up three yards, and the Vols have it third down and six. Cockrell passing. It is complete. Great leaping grab by Miller. Carried down by Johnstone. Fine catch by Miller. Soars, pulls it down, and it's belted from the rear, but holds on to the ball. And Tennessee will have it first and ten as the volunteer 36-yard line. Tolls at fullback. Duke into a five-man line. Tennessee shifts its tail back to a slot man right. Now they'll run outside that slot with Tolls at the point of attack and he carries the ball for about nine yards a second look at the run by Alvin Tolles pitch from Cockrell to Tolles good blocking good strong running knocked out of bounds short of the first by a yard now it's Tolles again tries the same play and this time he doesn't get much about a foot shy Tennessee's got it third down and Tennessee faces a Duke goal line like defense. Tolls dies, and I don't think he made the first down. Duke defensively overpowering Tennessee's offensive line, and so Jimmy Colquitt comes into the game for the Volunteers. As the momentum of the game begins to turn Duke's way after the run back of the kickoff, just moments ago by the Duke Blue Devils. Punt by Colquitt is taken on a fair catch by Militello. Duke with the ball. They trail 24 to 18. Pitch will come to Duke with the ball. This is Blunk, and Blunk sweeps the right side of the line, cuts back across the grade. That's Atkinson actually carrying the ball for a gain of eight yards. Second down two. Again, Atkinson this time for two more yards. Just inches shy of the first, so it'll be third down for Duke. Duke has converted well on third down situations throughout the game and Bennett sneaks for the first down that mammoth Duke offensive line taking charge of the line of scrimmage very strong very experienced back to throw is Bennett the pass complete this is Franks again he fumbles the football it's recovered I think by the alert Atkins ball popped free but Atkins was there to pick up the ball for the game Duke handoff, big hole, rambling with the football and carrying forward will come Blunk. A second look as Blunk is slowed. Then he cuts back, he stumbles, regains his equilibrium, runs through that tackle, stays on his feet for seven yards more, and it's finally written down. Ten yards downfield from the first hit. And Duke has the ball in Tennessee territory. Bennett fades to throw. Bennett's going to pass the ball downfield. It is complete. Caster pulls the ball down as Duke's offensive line gives him all day to pass, and here's Bennett right on target. Caster in the crease makes the catch, and Duke has the ball inside Tennessee's 15-yard line. Tennessee 24, Duke 18. Bennett for Duke. Handoff, Blunt, great cut. Blunt to the 10, to the 5. Blunt into the end zone, and Duke has pulled into a tie. Duke crisply moving the ball downfield. Blunt running through Tennessee tackles and he's in the end zone and Duke has a chance to go ahead the freshman Harper has seen his last two extra point attempts blocked snap this one is in the air and it is good 
And Duke leads Tennessee 25 to 24 in the fourth period of the game. Kicking off for Duke. That was Harper. This is Galt. And Galt is back out close to the 20-yard line. And Tennessee trailing for the first time in the second half of the game, second time in the second half of the game, this time by one point. It's Cockrell throwing, and let's see if that's caught. Great catch. Pulled out by Furness. Nine-yard gain, second down a yard to go for Tennessee. The pitch to the corner. Cutting up field for the first down will be Chuck Coleman. Tennessee first down, 10 at the Volunteer 38. Duke 25, Tennessee 24. Game at Neyland Stadium, 95,223. The balls come with the reverse. Give to Miller. Miller gets three, four, five yards. But Duke recovers well, and the Duke defense is pursuing brilliantly. Cockrell, Fitch, Coleman. See, nothing there. He battles for yardage after being stopped in his own backfield. And Tennessee is faced with a third down upcoming. Cockrell for the balls, looking it over. Fakes, here comes the bootleg to the near side, and Cockrell steps out of bounds. I think he got the first down by about a foot and did. First down and 10 for Tennessee, keeping the drive alive near midfield. Cockrell, pass down the middle. It is complete. Tennessee's Cockrell throwing. And it's pulled down for the Volunteers by tight end Smith. You saw the second look there, and Tennessee's got a first down. The Volunteers moving. The pitch will go to Tolls, and Tolls is tackled after a gain of two yards. Second down for Tennessee in Duke territory. Trailing by one point. Cockwell on the pitch to Coleman at the corner, and brilliant pursuit again by Tilly. He rolls him out of bounds. Third down four for Tennessee. Third and four. Cockwell checking off at the line of scrimmage. Big third down play. Straight drop. Well, he's got to be sacked. Nobody picked up the tackle. Actually, it was the blitzing linebacker, Tilly. And it's fourth down for Tennessee. 16 yards to go, and John Warren will come in to attempt the pooch kick. High kick. Tennessee racing downfield to cover it. The ball will bounce at the 10, rolls to the 5, goes out of bounds at the one-yard line. Sensational punt by John Warren and Duke for the third time. Puts the ball in play first and 10 at its one-yard line. Give to Blunt. Blunt running through tackles, battling past the 5 out to the 9-yard line. There's Blunt. One tackle missed, two tackles missed. Finally, he's written down, but he gets the ball out there to the nine-yard line. And Duke's got it second down, a couple of yards to go. Man in motion is Frederick. Handoff, Blunk, outside 10, first down yardage. He's forced out of bounds, short of the 15-yard line, where Duke fighting the clock. Now, they want to use as much of the clock as they can. Blunk up the middle, powering behind the blocking of the middle. Ebinger, the center for Duke, opens up the hole, and Duke continues to roll outside the 20. This will be Blunt forced out of bounds at the 22-yard line. And it's third down and a couple of yards to go for the Blue Devils. Big play. Tennessee needs to stop you. Bennett back to throw. Bennett's pass is complete for the first down to Franks. Duke maintains possession. And Franks stays in bounds, so the clock keeps running. Down into the final four minutes of the game. Duke with Blunt fumbling the football. Tennessee dies but I will wait and see. The official indicates that the recovery was made out of bounds. Duke retains possession. Here's Blunt. There's the hit. There's the fumble. The ball dances crazily toward the east sideline. And Tennessee does not have control, apparently, of the ball. Possession is ruled after he's out of bounds. So Duke holds on to the ball. Close, but not enough for Tennessee to gain possession. Duke with Bennett. Handoff, Blunt. Blunt somersaults down. He's carrying the ball time after time. And this time he is belted. Tennessee in excellent position. Who was that? That was Mike Cofer. Bennett back to throw. Big play. It's downfield. It is almost intercepted by Ricky Holt. Ricky Holt played the pass to Franks. Had he held the ball conceivably, he could have gone all the way. But as it is, Duke retains possession. 
Bennett back to throw. Bennett with time. Bennett passes. It's complete this time. Grayson pulls it down. Down to the 45. Down to the 40. He's got a first down to the volunteer 35-yard line. Five seconds, and Duke will count the clock away as the football game comes to a close. Final score, opening game, 1982. Duke, 25, Tennessee, 24. In the Tennessee locker room, cornerback Lee Jenkins is with us. Lee, I know it was a disappointing loss, but Duke, very sophisticated offense. you got to give them credit. Definitely so. I have to give them credit. They had a very sophisticated offense, like you said. They seemed to capitalize uh, just when they needed to on the kickoff return, and so I just have to give them a lot of credit. They seemed to just know our weak points. It seemed like you had them down about two or three times, and they kept fighting back to their credit, too. Oh, definitely. They seem every time we had them down, they seem to come up with a big play, and uh, they seem to, you know, no defense is perfect, but they just seem to find a little weak link we had every now and then, and uh, you're just gonna have to get back and work this week in practice. You scratch the big plays off. How well do you think Tennessee played uh, taking away the big scoring plays? We didn't play a bad game. I think we we're a lot more aggressive than we were last year. That's one plus. Uh, we had a lot of missed tackles, and uh, overall, I don't think we played bad. Just a couple of plays that were just kind of terrible, but we're just gonna have to work on that. Tennessee wide receiver Mike Miller is with us. Mike caught a touchdown pass in the first quarter of the game. Mike, I guess for the average fan who was watching the game, it seemed like Tennessee might not have come out as with a wide open offense in the second half. Was that the case, or did Duke make adjustments? I believe Duke made pretty much adjustments to the things that we were doing. They were playing with a two deep coverage, not allowing us really to get deep on them, which I think we could have maybe threw a couple of underpasses underneath the coverage and maybe got open. It seemed like they were changing up their defensive coverages, kind of mixing you up a little bit. Right, they were, and um, it was just was up to us really to adjust to the things they were doing, which we really didn't do too well. And we had a couple of breaks go against us. You know, we were down on the goal line a couple of times where we didn't score. You know, games like this with college football, you have to score down a two-yard line to, you know, win the games. Was Boone's kickoff return the real turning point in the game? No, uh, yes, it was really a turning point, along with those two uh, goal line stances that they had against us. Tennessee quarterback Alan Cockrell now with us. Alan, tell us about the Tennessee offense tonight. How do you think they played and your overall impressions of the game? Well, the offense played. We played well at times, and uh, we had some letdowns at times. We moved the ball on them, on Duke uh, a number of times. We had we got the ball down to the one a couple times and couldn't get it in, and I think that was the down point of the offense. Had a couple of times that we could put them away and just didn't do it. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I thought... Uh, the offense was, was really fired up, and we were moving the ball on Duke. We were just we were running it right, right down their throats, and um, we got down there, and, and uh, Duke just lowered their head and got after us, you know, and, and uh, we turned it over to them once, and they stopped us once, and that, and that, that uh, changes the momentum in the game. How tough will it be now to rebound after this loss? Well, it's going to be tough. We have to forget about tonight. We'll look at game films tomorrow. Uh, we just have to forget about it and go on prepare for Iowa State the following week. Tennessee defensive end Mike Cooper with us. Mike, tell us about the battle in the trenches tonight, uh, the battle between the Tennessee defensive line and the Duke offensive line. It seemed like at the end maybe Duke was winning. Yes, uh, the offense, I think they did a pretty good job as far as uh, preventing us from rushing the quarterback and uh, causing sacks. I think they did also, also a good job as far as coming off the line when running plays. And their backs, to be so small, I think they, they ran pretty hard. I think Boone laid a couple of great blocks out there. I think he got you on time, as a matter of fact. They just had a well-schooled offense. Yes, they did. And uh, what really impressed me was still their backs because they ran the six and seven offensive play great. So next week, it's Iowa State coming to Knoxville to play the Volunteers here at Neyland Stadium. Bob Kessling reporting for the Tennessee Locker Room.